United States is concerned that China is currently trying to overtake the manufacture of sixth-generation fighter jets. China's approach to developing a sixth-generation fighter is similar to that of the U.S. Air Force USAF, namely Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD. U.S. Air Combat Command Commander General Mark D. Kelly made the remarks to reporters at the Air, Space and Cyber Conference hosted by the Air Force Association recently. He also reminded that China as a competitor to the U.S. knew what they had to do. For this reason, he stressed that the United States must first master this technology. It asserted that the U.S. achieved sixth-generation air dominance at least a month before China. We, as a nation, tend to let go of the trapeze and make the leap for the next rung of the ladder, he said. They tend to repeat what they have, and change, and evolve. It is said that the Chinese started with the Su-27, then progressed to the Su-30, then to the J-16, and their own Su-35. The planes, he added, made it easier for China to climb the stairs until they built their own fighter planes. China is carrying out upgrades and advanced versions of the Russian Flanker series of fighters it buys and then builds locally. The Su-35 was designed by Russia, but China has adapted its own specifications. It was a good plane, admits Kelly, calling it a fourth-generation aircraft with fifth-generation avionics and fifth-generation speed. That's what Kelly meant as an iterative plan to reach the sixth generation. We have to get there before they do. It won't end well if we don't do it, he said as reported by AirAmp, Space Forces. He also said that the F-22 Raptor must remain credible and relevant to modern combat until the USAF hasn't gone after 2030.